Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody Don's Laboratory. So you may know what happens when you put potassium metal into water, but just as a refresher, you can see it ignites and burns with a nice purple flame. This produces hydrogen gas and lots of heat. The hydrogen, of course, ignites. But now I want to know what happens if I do this same experiment inside of a vacuum chamber. You can see that the water has an ice cube in it to keep it from boiling. So let's set something up and see what happens when you add the potassium to the water. Despite the ice cube, the water is beginning to boil, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the pump. There we are. It looks like the pressure is, oh, five, six, seven millimeters of mercury. All right, let's cut this string with my laser and drop the potassium into the water. Well, that threw potassium everywhere. Didn't really change the pressure much. I didn't really see it change it at all, in fact. Let's look at that. So there you go. Potassium dropped into water at a low atmospheric pressure. Let's try it again from a different camera angle. I've repositioned the camera. Let's try this once again at atmospheric pressure. Looks rather spectacular, don't it? And it pops. All right. Okay, once again at low pressure. Let's cut the string and watch it. Definitely does not ignite and jumps around a lot more. Interesting. So I decided to try the experiment again with a more substantial piece of material. Unfortunately, it fell off of the string while I was vacuuming. There it goes. <laughs> Throwing water everywhere. Now this is a piece of sodium, so it doesn't react quite as quickly. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised it actually didn't melt the sodium. Normally when you put it in water, it melts. Seems to be filling the chamber with hydrogen gas and water vapor. The pressure is increasing, although it's really hard to see because there's water splattered all over the surface. <laughs> that is still reacting. Just bouncing around in there almost like a drop of water in a scalding hot pan. Let's see what happens if I let the water let's see what happens if I let the air back in. I see the sodium did melt as soon as I put the air back in. How about that? <coughs> All right, well, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. So before you go, another YouTuber that goes by Whiplash the Snake has got a little project going where he reviews other YouTube channels. And my channel was his latest review. I'll put a link to that here and in the description. I found it rather enlightening and I enjoyed watching it, so I'd recommend going and checking it out. The video reminded me that there has been a lot of new people to my channel in the last year or so, and I have not done a Q&A video in some time. I wanted to do one for 750,000 subscribers, but that goal has come and went. So if you have a question for me, feel free to put it in the comments, and hopefully I'll put together a video soon to answer them.